Welcome everybody. If you're watching this, you're watching the Halifax Board of Selectmen's meeting for October 10th, 2017, our regular Tuesday night meeting. As always, we are being filmed by Area 58 Community Access Television. You can watch this if you want on Community Access Television stations or YouTube. We will start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I think we're up for an Emmy. Just a second. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I know that nobody took any. Why do you want to go there? All right. I didn't, but I couldn't resist. <clears throat> We're going to start with uh, the approval of the agenda. Has everyone had a chance? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We have warrants. I <laughs> uh, like, would move to affirm the approval of the following warrants and commitments, bills. Payroll warrant number 28 for $354,553.39. Vendor warrant number 29, $70,512.31. A withholding warrant number 30 for $141,859.29 and school warrant number 31 for $390,771.32. The ambulance commitment 9C, $21,669. Ambulance commitment number 9D for $32,946 and payable to Halifax Postmaster, $196. I'm assuming that's for stamps. Mm -hmm. I will uh, make the second, but I will adjust the withholding warrant to reflect 24 cents as the ending. Of the oh, did I miss it? Sorry about that. Um, all those in favor? Yeah. You seconded it. All yeah. those in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to approve the following warrants and commitments. Vendor warrant number 32 for $365,660.18. Mobile park fee number 10 for $5,160. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I will move to approve the selectmen's bills for October 10, 2017. Office expense account, machine expense account with WB Mason Corporate $61.97. Law account, Attorney Lawrence Mayo PC $350. Law account, Matthew Bender and Company Incorporated, Mass Law Books and Subscription $249.10. And the last piece, law account, Douche, Williams and Brooks, Lorenzo and Holland PC. Aggregate total of $2,619.93. That completes the presentation. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We're going to move on to general mail. No, 7.35. Oh, we're going to start with, well, okay, 7.35, I thought it was 7.45. All right, scheduled appointments. Candace Niffin. Flower Chow. Well, I'm really just here to, um, I have a couple of questions that are things I just need to clarify. And um, and then I want to just tell you, I want to ask you a question. And you've seen the stone, that was one thing I yeah. wanted to point out, and the garden. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm meeting with the, uh, Lake, the, the head of the horticultural program at Silver Lake and he's bringing students over to see the garden at this, the point that it's at now. Uh, and what he's really, what we're really going to be talking about is, is if there's some way that we can collaborate that falls within their curriculum. Um, we're not really looking, or it's, it's not reasonable for us to ask them to come and weed the garden or take care of the garden. But um, that is something we're going to have to deal with um, at some point, somehow. And um, one of the things um, that I wanted to just 
see if it was okay to do this is um, we, we have established a gift account and then of course the beautification committee has been involved with this and I was wondering if there would be a problem if we talked about um, improving or um, changing some of the plantings along the foundation of the town hall right out here like so digging, it's sort of yeah just improving upon it making it uh, sure. see what they have to suggest and I don't know if that falls within the beautification committee or the it would be fine okay that's one thing I thought might you know if they could help with design and incorporate it into the garden it might be, and it, well I don't know not it into it but at least Compliment. But it would all look good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because I was noticing yeah. the plants that are right here in the corner. So have been prone to the hedges or anything. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. You know, I mean, we can't just ask them to do labor, but they might be able to help us design some improvements. I, I don't know because I've never looked at it, but that's what we're going to do. The horticulture about. class, you know, heads on experience. A lot of them take, get, take jobs in garden shops oh, and stuff around and change. So this is no different than doing that. For the right. But they also have a curriculum they have to right. follow. So, you know, I had, I had written to them last spring and I threw out some ideas. But at that point, the garden went in the end of May. They're finishing the school year and then summer came. So this is really the first opportunity we've had to get together. Um, so that's good because I'll talk to him about the area, the area. And then the other, um, another question that I had, I put my glasses on here. <laughs> um, oh, I still have some questions about acknowledgement letters. We established a um, garden gift account so that people could make con um, tax deductible contributions to the long term maintenance or improvement or expansion of this garden and we've gotten several um, donations and I've written letters to them from the beautification committee but I think Chai, I think for tax purposes we're both supposed no. to I talked to I talked to Sandy about that. Okay. Any, any committee or department can accept a monetary gift of any size. Okay. I want if there's and it's material goods at the board like that. Now, having said that, the board has indicated an interest. Let's say over two hundred dollars, or you know, we could pick a number and say, if we're going to get a donation, whether it's from a private individual or a nonprofit or whatever, for the garden. The board likes to know that over a certain size so it can send its own letter. But it has nothing to do, as long as the letter goes out from somebody, that's all that's needed. So whether it's a beautification committee or from the board. Okay. And mind you, if the committee wants, even for a smaller amount, if the committee would like the board to send a letter, I'm sure the board be well, you know, they'll, sign, they'll do that without any problem. Okay, that, that's where I think I was a little confused. Then, should do you have a list of who the, who we received donations? I can get one from. I have the, one. I didn't know if you wanted me to get it to you. Well, yeah. I, are you asking for the board to to do letters for everybody, or? Oh uh, well, I don't know. Uh, that's I I'm happy to do the letters. Okay. I just didn't. I think when I talked to Sandy, we weren't sure if that would. Um, suffice yes, for tax it would. purposes. Yes. Okay. So so what I did is at the end of the letters, the four that I've sent out so far, I I copied off some donation I had made, the thing that said, you know, consider this your receipt for tax. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Great. Then I will continue to do that. Thank you. And um, I'll just assume that Sandy will tell you who donated. I can do that. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, and then my next question is just about the administration of the gift account. I know it was established. I'm not sure how that, um, like, does it, it is is it the beautification committee that approves expenditures from that account? Yes, and but then the board of selectmen so still needs to sign off. Just okay. we sign board, off. The, like a, like any bill or right. any more. Okay. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to add anything more to the garden, then this board would need to look at the overall design. Oh, of course. But of course, like yeah. you did the first time. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that would be true if we wanted to put it in the bench or anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, all right. I asked a question about that. Yes. If we, if we, uh, I'm a little concerned that we're going to have to do some, I, actually, I think I might have spoken to you about it and then I started doing it myself, but I think we're going to need to hire either 
a company to come in and do annual maintenance. And I, I'm not asking about that now because I don't have any prices in mind. Right. We, we're okay so far. But I wondered, um, that doesn't preclude using beautification committee money if we have a gift account. E either could be used for this purpose. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Oh, sure. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. Thank you. And you like for all the work. Everything figured out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You had to figure it out before you asked. So yeah. you're and you I have these good. letters written that I didn't do. A Candy. So now I can Candy, you've always been in person. You never ask the question unless you know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know it's been a while. And now you can. Yeah. It's changed. So no. thank you very much. No. Thank no, you. Thank you. It's garden. It's seven forty. Um, we're five minutes from our next. So, so we can probably do a couple things. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, police department civil service list. The board needs to rescind its vote terminating permanent demanded patrol officer Jennifer Keegan's inclusion in the police department. This will allow to request a waiver to continue as a permanent demanded officer, but would forego her right to apply for a full time position. So, I will make a motion that um, we. Um, Rescind the vote of two weeks ago. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Um, recycling grant needs Tom to be the signatory for it. This is the just the form itself. Um, I'll make a motion that we authorize Tom to sign the recycling grant eighty four. So you're saying there is second data. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, the treasurer collector just wanting you to know that we have. Um, she started the foreclosure procedures on 18 properties, most of which are 30,000 or more in arrears in pr terms of property taxes. Um, there's no action for the board to take, but she wanted you to be aware of it, that's all. Um, the 7-Eleven Tedeschi store is looking to put a Kino monitor in the store. Um, the Liar Commission sends us a notice about that. Um, unless there's any reason that the board doesn't want it there, there's no action for the board to take. There's a 21 day comment period. I mean, obviously, they're all over the place in Halifax, along with any number of other communities. So, I assume the board has no kind of objections. They already have lottery there. Yeah, right. um, just we had received, as a creditor, we had received notice of, from the bankruptcy court in North Carolina, bankruptcy petition filed by Benjamin John Cordell. I believe he owns property over in Lydon Lane. Um, the taxes are paid up and everything except for the recycling fee. I checked with Larry about this at this point. He said, just don't do anything. If we get past November 1st and the um, half year payment has been made, then he thinks it would be wise for us to take action. But for the moment, I'll just let this sit until the beginning of November. Um, another signatory authority, this is for the building department and regulatory department of um, I guess I'm the alternate in case Rob is not available. All the board needs to do in this case is approve it, but also their signatures down at the bottom for all three of you. Okay, I make a motion that we authorize Charlie to be the alternate uh, payroll signer when Rob Fitzgerald is not available. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathy Dryden, the Board of Health agent, had sent out an invite to our departments and those in neighboring towns that deal with rabies uh, issues and situations. Uh, there's Catherine Brown from the Massachusetts Department of Public Health is going to be doing a training workshop uh, a few Fridays from now on the 27th up in the Great Hall at 9. There's no action for the board to take, but I wanted the board to know that that was going on. In case you need to bring me to my workplace. Right. Or, you know, In without case. that, <laughs> or if uh, Pam sees me frothing at the mouth. Um, of course, you get to Halloween, you never know. Um, beautification can be, we already talked about, gifts we talked about, um, open meeting laws. Uh, the AG's office had revised a number of the regulations. The only crucial one for the town, really, in my mind, is simply the minutes have to be done and approved um, under specific timetable, 30 days or three meetings after that meeting, whichever comes last. So, yeah. for instance, a board that doesn't meet more than a couple times a year, you can wait, but one that meets on a frequent basis, you'll have to do it. Uh, you'll have to, in that instance, keep up with the minutes. So, we know you are. All yes. Right. yes. No, no, you are. Without the dog hearing. So that makes it yeah. Fitzgerald Garden, we talked about open new laws. We talked about stop signs and speed limit signs. Now, 
I mean, we had, I don't know if there's anybody here about that. Laurel um, Street, you're here. Laurel Street, yeah. Circuit Street. Um, we didn't have a specific time about this. Um, I didn't know if the board wanted to wait because it might take a few minutes. Yeah, until after the 7.45. Yeah, do the 7.45, we'll do that, and then come back. Well, we're now at 7.45. Yeah. So fuel storage permits. Um, the board's holding four revocation hearings tonight. Um, two Cumberland Farms for their property at the northeast corner of Plymouth Street and Montpontson Street, and the Nazarella property over in Summit Street. They've indicated they're specifically declining to renew these, but we need to go through the formal process of holding the hearing tonight and revoking the permits, in this case, for non-payment. Um, let me do those two first, if the board want, would want to approve revoking those two fuel storage permits. Yes, so do you need a motion? Yes, please. Okay, remind me of the, I don't want There's to- one, one would be Cumberland Farms yeah. for the corner of Montpensive and Plymouth Streets, the northeast corner, and then the other would be the Nazarella property on Summit Street. Uh, okay, so moved. Yeah. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, okay. So on the other two, one is for Davis Automotive. Um, they are in on schedule for their payment plan for the real estate taxes. Uh, the concern is that there have been no payments towards the amount of money owed for the motor vehicle excise tax. Um, so they've been making some progress. Um, they, they have a payment plan. They're working with the treasurer collector on that. There's no payment plan for the motor vehicle. Um, and I don't know, you know, there's a few possibilities here. One is the board could decide to postpone taking any action so that the uh, permit holder could meet again with the treasurer collector and work out a payment plan for, along with the real estate to do the motor vehicle. And then the board could continue this hearing for a couple of weeks. Well, well they've, they've done half of, half of what they're supposed to be involved in as far as taxes, they've got a plan. Uh, they have a plan for the real estate. They my don't have recommendation would be that we hold off mm -hmm. until such time as she speaks with the treasurer and find out whether or not that can be worked out. Okay. Is that a second? Yes. I'm going to call. Is it Mr. Tobin? Is that who handles it? No, you would be talking to, um, Oh, for the excise. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it's, it's probably going to the deputies. Okay. So that's the second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. And for the Country Club property, the Country Club is not in arrears itself, but its uh, interests are in that there are a number of properties owned by the uh, oh, interest in, in by the owners of the Country Club. Um, their taxes probably mounting to close to $50,000 in various properties in town that are in arrears, um, given that the board had voted just now to give um, Davis Automotive a couple of weeks to try and work out a payment plan. What I'm recommending is that the board do the same for this, and I will contact the country club, indicate which uh, properties are still in arrears and that they need to work out a payment plan with the treasurer collector for those. So we. One thing I didn't say hello to the of in the room is that we were receiving something in writing from those particular agencies stating that they have made Yes, they've started at least made them arrangements. Okay. And I know that, you know, obviously with Stephanie, mm -hmm. we've been in touch and she's mm -hmm. been on a pl payment plan. Has anybody been in touch with the PECs lately? Well, they, were, they, in touch with, they in were in touch with, they were in touch during the revocation hearing. They may not realize that um, under the state law that all properties not just the country club itself have to be in good standing okay so they're not aware of i don't know uh, well they may, or may, not. <coughs> they may in this particular case they may not be aware of we've had similar situations with them before okay. um this is not a new situation for them okay and we sent something out to them uh, stating that these things need to be caught up yeah but what I'm recommending another way another two weeks okay yeah, well, i think that's reasonable i think that's why right. i'll make that motion Second. All those in favor? Right. And Aye. Pam, what we'll do yeah. is continue the hearing to 7.35, two weeks from now on the 24th. Um, I don't think it's going to be that long. I think it would take five minutes or so. Either we'll have payment plans in place with the treasurer collector or the mall. Are you caught up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We still have 10 minutes before. So then we go day. to Laurel and Circuit. Yeah, right. So the situation with Laurel Circuit is that um, we had a number of residents who indicated an interest in having stop signs placed at the intersection of Laurel and Circuit. It's a four-way intersection. Um, circuit 
dives in and then dives back on a Plymouth Street Laurel, comes in at an angle and continues to over to the bridge waters. But there's an intersect four-way intersection there without any stop signs, stop lines, anything like that. In addition, the residents had indicated an interest in getting speed limit signs. Um, under current state law, you could put up thickly settled signs, and we've back before last year we had done modified signs that said thickly settled in 30 miles per hour. The residents have indicated an interest now that the state law has been was passed last year under the Municipal Modernization Act, allows cities and towns to lower the speed limit in thickly settled sections of a community from 30 to 25. And there are specific signs now that have been developed by Massachusetts that say that. We Without won't have to, having to do the whole testing. We, we won't have to do the testing test or anything yeah, like awesome. that. Now, cities and towns can decide to do it on a blanket basis, They can, or they can decide to pick, um, pick particular, particular streets. Um, there are about, out of the 351, there are about a dozen, a few more than that, who have done it citywide. And, there was, and really, those are very large cities. There's almost no rural communities that have done it that way. Um, there are two communities that have done it on a piecemeal basis. This particular street is a 25, or this particular street. Is, there's nothing preventing the town through the board selectman from doing the same thing. Um, the couple things happened after the residents in, indicated an interest. One, the traffic safety committee met. They indicated that they were, uh, at that time we weren't talking about the 25, but they certainly were recommending putting the stop signs in, both at the intersection but also at the corners where Circuit and Laurel go back into the southern right. end of uh, Plymouth Street, the southern side of Plymouth Street. And also they were recommending the thickly settled. Um, I did send a note out to all the residents um, on Laurel and on Circuit, um, indicating what the board was considering. Um, at that point, again, I didn't mention the 25, but I got correspondence back asking about it and went back to the additional research. So the board could say final put thickly settled 30 or could say thickly settled 25. Um, we received a number of uh, piece of correspondence from people. Let's see if I can write here. I thought I typed these in. No, you did a nice job on your notes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. And I think everybody you know, a couple seems people to be like yeah. so, are out of town, so they couldn't make it. Right. So meeting. Ken, Carol, Lynn Vinton are in favor of everything, including the 25 mile per hour zone. Stefan Gelfi is in. Um, if I mispronounce his name, I'm sorry. He's in favor of everything, including the 25 um, miles per hour. Chris Winowitz is also in favor of everything, including the 25. Eugene Lazinski um, is in favor of all the stop signs. He didn't mention the speed limit. Christine and Philip Salvatore are in favor of the stop signs and speed limits, but did not mention the 30 miles per hour versus 25. Not that everybody knew about that as a possibility. That's one of the things that happened. As I mentioned, the traffic safety committees uh, recommending both, but they didn't know about the 25. Um, and there may be people who already wrote in or are coming in without saying comments, and the board may want to hear from them. I'm perfect. I, I did have a brief conversation with the chief, the police chief, and he's in favor of the 25 as well. And I think that's been the consensus among the neighbors. So I'm perfectly happy to support the 25. Do we have anybody here from the street that wants to speak to it? We have we have two <laughs> two, two individuals. I know there's two right there. They, they can't get <laughs> uh, Philip Salvatore, uh, 425 Laurel Street. Uh, I'm in favor of the 25. Uh, as you know, a lot of people, um, both those are busy streets, uh, you get a lot of people that come from <coughs> out of the neighborhood that come in, a lot of people that go four wheeling down by the power lines, yeah. and there's the ones that pretty much are wreaking the havoc, and uh, you know, and then some, you know, some speeders from the neighborhood too, uh, but you know, there are little kids all you know, scattered sc throughout the neighborhood, so that thickly settled 25 miles an hour uh, would be ideal. S signs in and of themselves are questionable, yeah. but it does give law enforcement another tool to, to utilize. Correct. And that's, that's basically what I was going to say. Yeah. Is that, you know, the signs are good, but it's like anything that you put on the highway unless you got some enforcement there. Yeah. You know, and it shows, so it's got to be yeah. diligence on your part. You know, if you see something happening, to make sure you notify the police department so they hopefully they can stay on top of it. Yeah. I, I have uh, no issue supporting this. I'll make a motion. Is there anybody else here? Oh, I'm sorry. Does anyone else want we to? We have Circuit Street in the back. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lezinski! <laughs> Gene Lezinski, 110 <laughs> Circuit Street. You guys set it off. You got all the bases covered. That's what we try for it. Well, yeah. <laughs> who's on who's on second? I will make a motion that we um, approve a 25 miles thickly, uh, thick, thickly, thickly settled, settled and, and, and the stop sign. Thickly, yes, and the four-way stop sign. Now, is that, is that on the live PV? We can make that decision yes. tonight. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so it's this. So first of all, stop signs at the four-way intersection. Yes. Second. We'll have signage and inf um, a traffic rule, in essence, yes. for 25 right. miles per hour for these two streets on the southern side of Plymouth Street. This wouldn't extend to the Circuit Street right. on the northern side, just on the southern yeah. side. And then third, stop signs where Circuit Street and Oral Street intersect with Plymouth Street on the southern side of yeah. both. Yeah, now, those are long has anyone spoken shows. to the highway surveyor? Yes, he, he was, was part of he, was, he was part yeah. of yeah. And So he's in agreement with this, he understands the yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Gene, make sure. Is that second? Gene has a question. Oh, I'm sorry. So the stop signs at both ends of the streets going out to 106, it's the town wanted to save money. Um, it's a no brainer. Nobody's going to go instantly out on the 106. Yeah, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah. Okay, let yeah. me know when I try to save money. <laughs> All right, you know, send it down. You, you, don't get a you don't get a rebate for that. There'll be a special. <laughs> okay, I, I want signage. Send it down, Jay. There'll be a special notification in the newspaper that stop is S T O P, and that skid tires on pavement. <laughs> All right, that's the motion. Okay, do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you so thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you for your decision. And thank you for making our night lovely. <laughs> we love having visitors if you're not busy. Like, yeah, hang on. <laughs> Run like come the back on a night that's more interesting. Run like the wind bullet. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but don't go more than 25 on that street. I am now watching you. Hey, speak of the devil and he will appear. <laughs> good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. Pleasure making your acquaintance. Okay. <laughs> So we'll knock out a couple more before Steve's appointment. Yep. Uh, land Use Council, um, three firms that indicate an interest, Myaris and Harrington, Copeland and Page and Deutsch Williams. I didn't know what the board's preference was to whether have a special meeting, daytime, nighttime, or conduct this at the regular meeting on the 24th. I, I'd rather do it different than at a meeting. I'm not even sure I want them all there on the same day. Really? Oh. Your call. I, I, me personally, I, I'd like to do it during the day, I think, um, but at a, at a special meeting as opposed to a regular mm -hmm. scheduled meeting. I don't know how everybody else feels about that or what their schedule allows for. Well, I mean, it, it, it's something that is, is a serious note we need to concentrate on. And it, it sounds like a good idea just to have that as the only subject matter. Yeah. I probably would recommend that you leave a couple of hours of time. There's 30 minutes per interview. We'll have a little break between yeah, the right, so that yeah. Yeah. My Tuesday's kind of busy. Doesn't have to be a Tuesday. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, I, I know you're jetting all over. No, no, no. <laughs> I have lunch with my parents, and I have, you know, a couple doctor's on. appointments to do with them. Huh? Bring them on. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Um, what, what is a good day? You want to give them some notice yeah. too. So, uh, whatever. What do you think? A couple weeks. Monday is oh, all right. Oh, do you want to wait a couple weeks? No, well, no, because I mean, whether we're yeah, yeah, let's get it done. Yeah, I don't know how your next next spring. week would be good. Um, Wednesday okay. is Wednesday still bad for you, or are you? Um, when, uh, yeah, as long as it's after nine o'clock in the morning, I'm good because I got to put the kids on the bus. Let me get around I can do and around. Wednesday and around. From well, I, I do the same thing, so uh, nine o'clock's the earliest I can. Yeah. <laughs> I have a dentist appointment at ten, but well, that's not going to work. No, no, but we could meet at 11 because they're oh, just fixing that. I thought that you were going to say you could meet at the dentist's so. office. Yeah, but we could meet at 11 and then I would have to leave here at 3.30. That's fine. Yeah. If that works for them. So which day are you talking about? about? I'm yeah. Wednesday at 11. Is that kind of stinky because of lunch? Oh, well, we have a school. Do you want to do? No. Oh, because you have a school meeting till 11. Do you want to do? Yeah, that, that, yeah it's, it's, it's going to be that long. Yeah, they don't take long. That's at 9.30. Yeah. <clears throat> Will that mess up lunch? Like, do we want to do one and then just have, have a lunch just, break? You're just, I'll just sit in the back and chop. Well, well Charlie. It might mess up there. The only thing, okay, for next week, we may we're, we may need to use a great hall, have the auditors go up there because um, the auditors are going to be here next week using the Slepin's meeting room. Pick another day? They're, is Monday well, no, they're too, here the whole week. Is oh. Monday too early? No, but they're here all week. 
So it's the, the it audit is going to be. All I need to do is find space. So if we're starting at 11 and finishing at one, um, we just the council on aging's using the great hall at 130, so we should be fine. Do you think the two hours is enough time? No, yeah, because I think you're going to spend maybe a half an hour with each firm. You're going to leave a little break in between, and if you feel that you need to discuss it, you will know, still have some time to war. And that, I mean, you may just w want to sit back and say, okay, fine, we'll talk about this again on the 24th at the regular meeting to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. So the 18th? Yes, at 11. Okay. Um, do you want to do 11.30? The 18th on Wednesday? Yes, sir. Uh, you got something? Yeah. Roll, roll, roll. Do you want to go at 1? Do you want to start at 1 and be done at 3? Yeah, we'll go. We'll you know, be, we'll, we'll use we'll we'll my, my whole or Friday. outlook on this is that they're all lawyers, they all do land for mm -hmm. you know, what, what's the, what's was the big, big bang for our buck? A lot of it's personality, a lot yeah. of it's how comfortable yeah. you are. Well, Friday. How about Friday the 20th? Friday, I now have a Mount Ponson meeting. Not the Mount Ponson meeting, but... Um, how about Monday? Still, just, just next yeah. Monday? Just do it Monday. The 18th? Yeah, and then the auditors are gone, too, and we can meet. Well, okay, the 23rd, then. The auditors are going to be here from 16th uh, yes. to the 20th. We can do Monday the 23rd. Sounds like a plan. It gives them plenty of time. Okay. What time sure. do you want to do... What, do you want to do 9? Do you want to do 10? Well, Monday, Monday, as long as it's, I can say, if it's 9 o'clock, because it's three days a week, I can do that. If you do 10, that gives them a chance to come down from Boston. Mm -hmm. They're all coming from okay. Boston. So let's do that. <clears throat> so Monday the 23rd at 10 a.m. That works. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you want to give half an hour for each of those? Yeah. Okay. And then we can sleep on it. To know how they walk and come in the room that may last five seconds. Hopefully, right? Yeah. <laughs> Personal appearance is always that something. Well, then they're going to do opening statements and then <laughs> do closing statements. Well, most of us have some familiarity with them. Um, All well, of them, actually. Oh, yeah, at least yeah. two of the firms. And yeah. Okay, 23rd, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm good with that. It's a date. We don't need a motion for that, do we? You're telling me what to do. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. This once. That's that's pretty rare, Charlie. That's pretty rare. It's fixing it even once. <laughs> Most of the time, it's making us feel like we're telling him, but he's really telling us to tell. Him. <laughs> tell me. Rachel. Tell it. Tell everybody that. Go ahead, Kim. No, no, Thank you no, very no, much. No, no, no. It's not true. <laughs> My secret is out. Oh no, Charlie. It was never a secret if she knew it. <laughs> I know. Right. So you didn't know that I was making them think that. Moving <laughs> right along. Okay. Mr. Hayward is here. Yay! <laughs> Eight o'clock. Mr. Hayward, come on out in front here. I loved all because the Because there are two five. things that are certain in life. Yeah. Potholes and cremation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gave us a lot of they, great they, pictures. They, yeah, made a mistake. they made a mistake on your shirt because some of the trees are upside down. I mean, it, how are they going to water those things? No, that's the I can see what it looks like. Yeah, see? Yeah. Good answer. So he feels like he's on the beach, even though he just came from the beach. Oh, so when you look down, you go, oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> all right, I have all my pictures. So you might, um, you may, in terms of our uh, TV audience, want to start at the beginning. What? The, the these folks might know what they're okay. talking about, but they, I know that Bob at one point had talked about doing this, but it's been a while since there's been any discussion. You said we might know what we're talking about. I would prefer to say they know what you're talking about. But it's I didn't say, I didn't say yeah. who they were. Yeah, I know. And to an Italian, that's very exciting. <laughs> and that's not all. I just took part of it. Do you have a practice? Oh, very tight. Various types of stones. Yes. Whether you're going to have coarse or it's going to be smooth, the color scheme. I grew up in Quincy, right where all the monuments are carved. So this is the like Cranston? my backyard, literally. This is a lot more than I thought it was. To <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? But basically, what this is is I've uh, I wanted to do a cremation wall, but I changed my mind when I started doing some investigation on different things, and I found out a garden, which you get double the urns or niches, and you can make it look however you want to make it look, or you can have the companies design it. 
And I'd rather have us design it or myself, if you guys approve or disapprove, or we can work together and see what we can come up with. Do you have a location at the cemetery that you... Just took a picture. Oh, good. <laughs> So this is the oh, oh this, okay. It's just one of them. It's the back, you know, the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's what it is. It's right, right in yeah. this section. Okay. And if you look, this this part here. This there, is part of it, but the solar fountain is. Yeah. But yeah, this here, right here is the road coming in. Coming in from the town hall. Right. Yeah. No, from the from the back town side. barn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Either All right. that side or the side where the cemetery is going this way and if i did that i could fit two of these in there oh okay i don't so, you think they'd be pretty popular yes i think i think so no, I a lot of more people are getting cremated yes yeah. and i made sure because some people want to be buried still in the ground yes so that's why i had on the outside i can get oh, you have the option all the way on the outside yeah so there's there's all different ways you can be buried in this one yeah instead of just mm -hmm. in the wall right steve you have just want one to kind of look and see what the projected fill up rate, if you will. No, I, I mean we, I we still have we still have together. capacity. I mean we're not getting close to being well, in any kind of trouble, or are kind of yes, kind of yeah. Uh, well, that's what I was trying to bring up. Uh, and that's what I was I put on there. We could get 450 um, urns, urns buried in that little area compared yeah. to like 15 to 20 regular grave sets. Yeah, and, and it has become more acceptable and more right. routine. Yeah. yeah, we're getting more and more of them. And it's kind of, myself, I don't think it's right that we're selling a double deep vault to, to, to an arm. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we've got left. Yeah, I agree. So, that, that seems wasteful. Right. So I, I love the concept, but I also like the ones that have, like, a family can actually buy. Yeah, and that would one. be along the... That the would curtain. be like, so they have the flexibility, like right. maybe you don't want to be next to somebody you don't know, and maybe you want to be with all your whole family. And you want a suite. Exactly. A suite. Yeah, and instead of being on the wall, like you're kind of on your own. Right, and that's why I did the, the curtain like that. You yes. one, two, four. Beautiful. I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable talking I want a mausoleum. <laughs> it happens. Can, can you make sure <laughs> that you're not going to be put next to somebody even if it's in your family that you don't like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. this is like my business <laughs> what are you going to put elevators in? no 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 <laughs> yeah my dad calls third floor camera <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be like red box you hit the button and the urine comes up you get to take a look at it it goes back down and come or it's like you know army like at cisco you can push the number and have an arm or robot in them. Yeah, I grew up in Quincy, so all the monuments are really carved there, so that like we have tons of like mausoleums and, you know. And that's what some of these are like, and that's... Being very disrespectful. <laughs> no, 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 it's a really kind of beautiful. Like, right, and that's what I'm trying to show you, the different kinds yeah. of purchase. I love it. I like, and I like this, like I've, I've gone to a funeral where it's been the circular one. Right, and that's what I was saying, really you can buy that, that's all pre-made, and yeah. you can buy that for... 30,000 or whatever that is. But in order to look good, like, should we have, like, all of the uh, multiple, like, the, you don't care who you're next to, all look sort of the same, and then leave the family section to be more unique? Well, that's the good part about this. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Do you think, for, like, for the way that it would look, it would look more, um, sort of nicer and if it was just all the same? you think like if you had a family yeah. on this side yeah like if you had singles like over here where you're yeah. gonna yeah where you're gonna right. have like the singles should be all in singles. the same One sort area. of yeah. and it all should look the same uniformed yes. and then the family section can have the uniqueness of i want a brown stone which is right. like you do for regular stones you said the family wants like thirty thousand. no if you buy that pre pre-designed one that circular one. So, so you the, the circular line. Just to be clear, are you yeah. suggesting that yeah. families could buy their own, or Lots. we would buy it? Well, we be this would all be installed. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I, I just wanted you to be buy clear. a section. Yeah. Or yeah. Niches. Yeah. No. What are you saying? We pay thirty thousand. No, no. I understand. I just wanted to be clear. Am I correct in that? If we bought this one for, for anybody listening, then. Did you, have you driven around at other cemeteries? I've seen Duxbury's. I yeah. really haven't put that much time into it because I didn't know what you. Yeah. What, the answer would be, and I'm not going to waste a lot of time if you guys don't want something like this. So that's why I'm looking at it. 
Yeah. If, if for no other reason, but I have no capacity. problem going around checking. Yeah, and I, I can too. So it's just, I didn't, like I said, I put quite a bit of time trying to figure no, out what's going on. No, it looks, it shows. And then I don't want to waste any time if it's sure. not going to be accepted. Other than over here, how many other cemeteries does the town hold? Just this, well, we have. Active. Active. Yeah, that's the only one. This is the only active one. We yeah. almost had another one, but it failed. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's and it's, no. So that's the problem. We're running out of space, and yeah. Yeah. I figured this is a good way to yeah, it's awesome. try to extend it. Yeah. And it's not about making money, but I figured out if we just did half of the half of the garden that I yes. invented there, it would cost thirteen thousand dollars to buy all the niches and all the, the yep. walls. And if we sold twenty eight niches, it would pay for itself. Oh, good. So, it works. You know, it's it's a lot of money for fixing the place up. The rest of the cemetery, right? Yeah, and we're doing a service for the residents where there's a lot of people who would like to be buried in Halifax, but if we're run, running out of room, no, they have an option. Yeah, yeah. no, they have an option. Yeah, I I I think it's worth pursuing. I agree. So do you want to take time and design it and sort of like yeah, drive around? I'd love around? to. Yeah. I'd like to put more time than doing just this, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you need the any help, The next time I come back, I'll have yeah. which one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you if, if you guys don't mind, if they even need any help. Mind, I'd make a motion that you... Yeah, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy to help. Like, okay. you, I don't want to tell you what to do, but if you want to just no, run I, things I by... No, I would like, rather have... Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 okay, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I also like I go to the cemeteries a lot. With, like visit my grandparents' <laughs> graves, and like so. No, I I'll pay more attention. I'll pay so. more attention to how they have yeah. things set up. You no, know? she's not going to tell you what to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm married. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's not. She makes strong suggestions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it does seem a little weird that I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks for bringing that to us. I, I think yeah. it's I think it's a good idea. Yeah, you did an awesome job with. I didn't mean to. No, put all the no, no. Up. I like just no. I just different did ideas that. Right. No. to be set up. This was great. Like I was looking at it, thinking, oh, that would be really cool, and okay. you know, how would that look? And, yeah, and I think, like I said, to service the residents that want to stay in town, like you know, there's no room in the inn. Right. But now this is now a potential quite a bit more. to have, you know, those options. And and cremation is being, is definitely more popular, you know, besides the cost, certain churches are more accepting of it. I mean, years ago, there were some churches that didn't accept right. I, cremation. I didn't know that until lately. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It was a big issue. Yeah. But now it's, no, just go out where you well, came in. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. I'm just gonna keep it with the me. The devil stuff. does the burning. God does the devil. Oh, that what it is? <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you for your work. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. So I'll get a hold of you when I yeah. start doing that. Yeah, you myself. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. Awesome job. Oh, All I hear. And one more thing we'll have here. <laughs> Can I bring up something else on yeah, the um, sure. the rules and regulations out in the cemetery? Yeah. I'd like to make it so that everybody's on the same page because we've had a couple of complaints just since I've been here because one of the guys will be mowing and he'll cut something and it's kind of in the way which people are starting to get away from what the rules are. It's only supposed to be a foot. Oh, it's supposed to be a foot or so away from the right. guys. So I'd like to make a couple signs to go near the water spigot and Everybody will see what the rules are. Yeah. Anything to say in aggravation? Because yeah. it's yeah. it's not fun when you get somebody yelling at you because it's yeah. something I, was done. I put all these plantings out there and somebody came along and mowed. Right. So okay. if they have the rules, at least they can. As long as it's see. tasteful, I, I don't right. see any problem. Well, that's the thing. As long as it's within reason. I mean, yeah. The guys on a lawn will get the hook off the side of his head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. That's not good. So. Yeah. But was that if you want to make any changes, I'd write them down and come to you guys, right? And see if you guys approve or not. Yeah. Okay. Anything within reason. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Anybody else? No? Yeah, okay. <coughs> thank you so Again, much. Thank, thank you. you. Yay. Have a good night. Have a good night, Steve. Oh, so that was good. I know I got a little excited. Yeah, you got a little. 
New project. You jump right on that. <laughs> so random, isn't it? Okay. Let's. Uh, our next school is project. Eight, eight thirty. There's no so real update on that. Obviously, the roofing for the most part is done. There's a few um, areas around the chimneys for the most part that still need to be worked on. So I happened to be in the building when the architect came in. I can't go to Wednesday's meeting, mm -hmm. but I think that they're gonna like sit down and they, they had some questions about painting of the hardy board and I said that's something that, you know. The group as a whole. You know. Besides group as a whole, like somebody like Tom, like mm -hmm. you know whether or not it should be painted. Like I think they spec it to have it painted. I was gonna say if they spec pre-finished, then they shouldn't be discussing painting it. Well, that was the question, and you might want to talk to Rob, because you know I'm not the brightest bulb when it comes to this sort of construction thing, when it comes to the materials, because they made it sound like it was specced for being dipped, but also being painted, and that didn't make sense to me. So check with Rob. Okay. okay. And then the other thing was the aluminum, they had a lot of discussion about the aluminum around the windows and around the doors. And then he talked a little bit about the insulation when they do the fire suppression, where they're going to be moving the insulation. Right now it's closer to the ceiling, they're going to be moving it up. So those are things to make sure that they talk to you guys about on Wednesday. Yeah, so, so now the only thing they've got to complete on the roof is basically around the flashing, around the chimneys. Yeah, they're going to clad the chimneys and then they have to uh, tie in the roof. Tie in the roof. Right. Okay. The chimneys look great though, don't they? Yeah, they do. They look Phenomenal. Even my husband said that. He was like, came home and he was like, they look great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you. they looked terrible for a long time. Mm -hmm. Those plywood faux chimneys never hold up well. The only first 20 minutes that they're installed and then yeah. they deteriorate immediately. Yep. We're on the home stretch. I don't <laughs> see the lights there too late. <laughs> But, and they were there on Saturday. They and, and the weather's been yeah, phenomenal. They've had terrible weather to contend with mm -hmm. through the whole project. You know, hurricanes and... Yeah. Not that we had storm damage, but, but certainly rain. And they're definitely motivated to finish it. I mean, like, you know, if they miss a day during the week, and even if not, like, they'll, they're typically there on a Saturday, and they're doing it around mm -hmm. the gym time, and so they've been super respectful. I, I think Cape Boy's done a great job. I think they're, they're great to work with. They've been very, very professional and cooperative. So whether as part of the normal, every other week meeting schedule we've been doing, or as a special meeting, I do want, I told Habib and Associates, I told Vertex we need to have a sit down to go over the next phase of the project, which are, as you mentioned, the windows, doors, the siding, and also the fire suppression system, because I'd rather have people asking questions and having that conversation early before any final decisions are made. Um, I know that they're he trying to finish the plans for the first three by the end of this month. Um, and I'd like, I don't want it so much um, etched in stone that we can't make changes based on that conversation. Okay. So, um, we'll, I'll keep your prize about any special meeting for that. Um, recycling grant, just, um, I think I mentioned this last week was a $400 and what Susan's going to be doing, uh, Susan Johnson over the recycling center is going to be doing is a, uh, Let's see, they're getting a new compactor, and this would be for that, help fund that, plus any associated infrastructure, and also they're looking to get a new swap shed built there um, to replace the old one. So that's where that money's going for. I don't have any information more about um, the building permit, 21 Plymouth Street. Um, I'm putting Nate come in contact with Kim about the beautification project over at the Memorial um, corner. Um, I have to hear back from Chief Roderick about the floats on the pond. Um, I haven't heard back from mostly PCO truck exclusion. Uh, zoning issues, I've not heard from anybody. From, we talked about all those issues a couple weeks ago. I've not heard back from anybody since then. Um, and I'm, this is going to tie into a possible town meeting in, uh, in November. We're Basically, we're almost running out of time if we want to do any zoning issues at that November meeting. Um, it requires that the hearing. Plan, you know, the hearing with the planning board, which requires public notice at least a couple of weeks in advance. They have a couple of weeks before, after that hearing, to make a recommendation. Basically, it's, I mean, it's conceivable if everybody was on board, but I, I don't see that. Yeah, I mean, I heard 
on a particular issue three or four different opinions on every single one of them. I'm not even sure, I'm not um, being uh, upset with anybody, but I don't even know if the board as a whole, this board here is in support of anything particular. They might be interested in talking about it, but I don't know if there's any one proposal on any of these issues that the board is unanimous about. Um, and so I suspect what's going to happen is we're going to have to delay any action on any of these until May. I, actually, I, I think at this point, I know the planning board has taken it on to some degree, um, but I don't know that they've made a whole lot of progress. And to your point, by the time we discuss it ourselves, hold hearings and everything else, we'll be. It doesn't well, make well, sense. Yeah, it yeah. Kind of <laughs> sure. doesn't make sense. We'll wait. I, I, I think we. We're going to end up. You want to wait until the spring to do it. Well, they, yeah, I don't want to have a special town meeting yeah. on this issue. But if we were, I mean, my hope was we might bring one or more of these topics to the meeting in November if everybody was on board for something. But I didn't see that from last two weeks ago. I, I agree, and I think it's a lot of information. It's been on the top of my list. I don't know much. And yeah, we, we don't want to rush into it. Yeah. If, if we're going to change our multifamily bylaw, we need to do mm -hmm. it thoughtfully. Yes. Because uh, that's why we keep getting in trouble because mm -hmm. it was haphazard to mm -hmm. put together. To okay. um, speaking of the town meeting, we will need one um, for the HOPS grant. The, it's a weird situation in that we need to have one before the end of the year and it's going to be before even the grants are announced. So I'm, I, it's sort of a contingent motion at the town meeting um, that brings it up to date based on the HOPS grant that we might or might not get. But we have to have the meeting and that has to be an article on there. There may be other things which I'll pull out of the file and go over with you in a couple of weeks. Um, both John and Larry are available on November 20th, which is the Monday before Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, they're not available the 13th, they would be available the 6th, but that's starting to put a little bit of a time bind on Barbara and everybody else to do well. Well, that works out well because I'll be returning on the 19th. Okay. So. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay, so I'm going to so, do a special town meeting on the 20th. Try, I need to check with the school to confirm the space is going to be available and everything. But if the board would doesn't have to do it tonight, well, I'll Make talk to you all in a couple of weeks. Well, if I'm you want to. I'm motion that we set a special town meeting for Monday, November 20th at 7.30 at the elementary school pending the room being available. And we have develop what issues we're going to No, aside for hops, and I'll bring okay. everything back to the board in a couple I'll weeks to it. come up with a warrant. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Um, on Pots of Pond, we did have a clean test over on the west side um, last week. My hope is uh, the samples we're getting either yesterday or today will be similarly below the 70,000 number and we may be able to reopen it. As much as it's been um, difficult Th um, this summer and into the fall, the actual numbers have been far lower than they were a year ago. Um, it did have, the work we did do in the spring did have an effect. It just didn't have as much of an effect we, as we were hoping. It did bring the numbers down. We'll have to have a discussion uh, you know, um, later this fall about yeah, how to handle this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we talked about the Eagle Scout projects. I know that Pam has a number of things to do with the recycling. recycling. Yeah. Would you like me to do the list? Yep, okay, there's two pages, okay? Yes. The first one you're just going to do, and then the second one is just that by itself. Yeah. Because um, we received a letter. Okay, so I will make a motion for the first page as printed to abate because these people have proven that their private hauler does recycling. Uh, I'll second that. All those in favor? Right. Uh, and then I will <coughs> ask that we hold off on page two. Or no, no. Gonna this oh, is going to be contingent okay. upon getting the application for the abatement. If so the nice. if the board approves this tonight and the applicant sends in the app or the resident sends in the application, we'll just have the board sign it. You've already approved it. Is there a it. date at which they need to send the application in by? No, I didn't give it to them. But the thing is, if the board approves it, they'll you'll have approved it by today. Okay, so I'll make a motion that we. Um, Approve page two, bill number 96, contingent upon receiving an abatement form from the resident. Do have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we're done with these. This should be, yeah. We are done. That was, that's we why I wanted, them. That's yeah. why I wanted the board to Four vote on this tonight contingent so that yeah. we weren't still dealing with this topic two weeks from now. Awesome. I know Pam had, we had rearranged the schedule tonight because we had um, a 
postponement for one topic from yeah, till next month. Um, and I believe Mr. the representative from Morse Brothers is coming at 8.30. So if the board wants to um, take a break for like five minutes and, uh, and sign sign stuff oh, and yeah, we'll yeah, be yeah, off, can, you know, we can take the tape off for five minutes and re yeah. Yeah. Um, start up again at 8.30 or when Mr. The representative comes in. Number one, make it so. Beam me up, Scotty. Look at it, we're going to keep them all in order. Uh, it'll be the first time. <laughs> you know, I, I, um, I taught my kids how to drive in that cemetery. I know where everybody is. <laughs> well, that's where. Of course, you do. That's one of the places where. I mean, not that I did it here, but that's one of the places where I taught Rebecca to drive. There's um, yes. a big cemetery on North Main Street in Providence, just off 95. You can see it as you're driving north, and because there were intersections and yes. things like that, I could tell her make a turn here, stop yeah. here. Yep. You know. That's why I did it, and you can't kill anybody really now. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out. Are you giving me your check? You're so kind. Yeah, you have. You know, I started her on empty parking lots. Um, it's bigger than me. When I park the car. Yeah, sure. and <laughs> just drive around, but then the next, yeah, the next Taught episode. my kids up at the high school because it was a closed in fence around the track and stuff. And then I sent them to, to, sent them to a driving school. So, okay, now, now if you say something different, don't you pay attention to that? I turned my kids loose at the mall. Did you? On a Sunday morning when there was no traffic, I said, just get get the feel of the car, accelerate, brake. Yeah, I did that in the town hall parking lot, and then they graduate to the cemetery, and then they graduated to um, <coughs> Clyde Bosworth, that loop. And then they can only take a right out of that street, because that street is scary. My name is Swan, and yours? Hmm. I am dog tired. Can I have a cup of coffee? It's a nice long weekend, huh? Yeah. I was kind of excited it rained a little bit. Yeah. That's me. I was driving on 90 up at Charleston when the rain came through. Oh, what a drag. Doing 65 miles an hour, and the wind's blowing about. 40 and coming down, so I'd slow down to 40 miles an hour. And a semi trailer truck come going by me and track the trailer, and the you know, back end's going. Oh, <laughs> I says, ah, okay. And I'm popping my brakes and hoping the guy behind me <laughs> to see him. Mark and I have to drive to Rochester, New York on, that, on Friday for parents' weekend. Eight hours. Oh. It's seven hours, seven and a half full driving, but if you stop, it's eight. Can you fly? Yeah, Providence must be a little closer. I, I usually say six and a half from no, I wish. Providence to Syracuse. Yeah, well, this is, yeah. This yeah. is like, so I actually, I have to remind Mark. I'm going to see if you'd mind leaving a little early on Friday morning at like six in the morning because he's never seen um, Niagara Falls, and it's only about a half hour from Gabe's school. And no, it's like 40 minutes at most. Because I did it. Hannah Hat Company. I did it so with um, when I looked at the college with Harrison. Harrison had I had taken the two younger boys at Niagara Falls, mm -hmm. so I took him. But I usually fly into Buffalo. Mm -hmm. There are flights to um, Rochester, but I didn't make a reservation this time. We were just Mark's like. How full can it be? Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, the problem with Syracuse thing. was that they had. The uh, they don't call it homecoming week they, or weekend, they call it something else, but that was la this past weekend, and then parents' weekend is this weekend. So, Barbara and I went up the first weekend. Oh, you did? Yeah, the September um, we went up the first and came back on Monday okay. because we didn't want to deal with the hotels and everything else. Yeah, so we're gonna we're going up. Oh, I originally was just gonna send Mark, so I didn't need Marsha, but we're all both going. So we're gonna go up Friday morning and then leave first thing Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Gabe's in a competition. They they did a um, it's a, for his engineering class. It's a pumpkin throwing. Yes. 
they want to call it a clock or whatever yes, it is. Yes, yes. Whatever. That they, they use it to throw pianos and things like that. Yes. In case it's and then, yes. And then I have tickets for Saturday night. Northeastern is playing all right. So I guess they're Division One mm -hmm. for um, slide it on out. Thank you. Come on up. We're in we're in break. <laughs> so oh, but, but, no, 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 it's 8.30 and our last scheduled appointment is with Brendan Moquin. Moquin, okay, thank you very much for that. <laughs> From Morse Brothers. Correct. And you're on. What are we here for? Well, well we were here the, because, yeah, because of the um, people using Lincoln Street. Indian Pass, or yes. Indian Pass. Yes. So going through the change. Buses. Yes, so um, quick update. The project should be over in four to six weeks. Um, bus schedule really wasn't even on the forefront for me because I thought it was going to be done and completed during the summer. The contractor that I hired to perform the job uh, pre-qualified the soil that was coming out of there for another job that got extended, which ran to, as you can see with the um, sentence, the trucking schedule. There was no activity during the summer months and it just started ramping up the end of August and beginning of September when school came in session. So I've coordinated with him. I said no Indian path that I was unaware of. I know he has GPSs on all of his trucks. He said he was monitoring that. Um, as soon as I did, Charlie talked to me, I phoned uh, the contractor and vice versa. And then as far as the school buses, I reached out and got the schedule off of Charlie that I then passed on to him. And that's about it. And we haven't had any complaints, anything post or anything like that. Yeah, since I haven't then. seen any, any coming down the road. I, I live in the area. Okay. So I've been watching. I was down to the day that the school bus was trying to get by and the truck was coming down. Okay. So, but as long as you're aware of it, it's something to be done about it because it, it's important. The people in the neighborhood agreed to have this done because they were going to follow certain rules and certain regs. Mm -hmm. You know, and Indian Path was a part of the deal. It was a straight down Lincoln Street, whichever direction you're going to go from there. Yep, understood. Yeah, we just, uh, at least for myself, I wanted to know somebody had a handle on it, and it sounds like you do. And, and that's what we were looking for. Um, not to be punitive, just to make sure that everybody was playing by the rules. Yep. Uh, and again, I understand you guys had scheduling issues, which changed the, the flow a little bit, but you got to live with what we got to live with. And no, absolutely. And my apologies. It's, it's, <coughs> it's hard. It almost makes me a middle person as Charlie. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm not directly removing the material myself, so I'm glad I was a little that spirited. Helped. I was a little spared. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're saying by the end of November? Yeah, at, should, the, at the latest. At the yeah. latest, it should be through with the project? Absolutely, yes. Okay. I appreciate that you came in, and I appreciate that you're on top of it. Um, but I know personally, if it if the rule is broken again, then I would be pulling the permit. Okay. Yeah, I think we made that yeah. pretty clear at the last meeting that, you know, <clears throat> so I because it was multiple issues. Yes, so I appreciate your attention to it, but that's how serious we are. We There is no room for a wiggle there. Great. Absolutely. And again, I know yeah. that you just provided a report through your engineer, I the did. first report. So Pam has that. It's in the mail folder yeah. if someone needs it. Sorry, Troy. That's okay. No, I was going to say thank, thank you again for coming yeah. in. Thank, thank you very much. much. I thank appreciate you. your attention to the situation. I have another copy if you guys would like that. We've got a radio. Yeah. yeah. That's your radio. Thank you. That's heavy. Huh? <laughs> okay. Try not to miss anything. Yeah. I guess. Well, we're good. Perfect. Okay, thank yeah. you, Brady. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was super quick. Yeah, I think that's everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mr. Calabash, wherever you are. Okay, you guys second it. You guys second it. I, Mr. Calabash seconded it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Good night.